Johnny Manziel. Uh huh. What was your view of him when you were teammates, and what about now? I love Johnny. I think he's a great person. He's very friendly. He's he's uh, a lot of fun, and um, I think that's probably been a big. Uh, part of his struggles in the NFL, though, is he's got so many friends. He's got so many people that want to be with him and want to hang out with him that um, it detracts from his focus on being uh, a quarterback. And to be an NFL quarterback, you have to be so obsessed and committed to the game that you almost have no time in your life for anything but a little bit of family and the rest of it is being a quarterback. And that's a commitment that few people are willing to make. Um, it's almost a commitment above a level of a coach, but if you can't have that level of commitment, you almost can't succeed in the NFL as a quarterback. In what way were the distractions evident when he was here, like to you personally? So being a quarterback just starts when everyone leaves the building at the end of the day. Like <clears throat> as a lineman, as a receiver, the rest of the team. I mean, meetings are over, you watch your film. You know, the guys that stay the longest besides a quarterback might watch an hour of film after meetings are all over at the end of the day. Well, a quarterback, he needs to be there from 6 in the morning until 11 p.m. He needs to have coaches hours. And um, if you don't do that, you just can't make it. And so if you think that you're going to go to work and then leave after meetings and go to dinner and a, a basketball game and go get drinks with friends during the week, during the, uh, during the season, just you can't do it. It's just not going to happen. And if you do it, you won't be properly prepared on a Sunday. If you were seeing that at the time, did did you ever did you ever want to like pull him aside and say, "Hey"? Well, I think it's tough if you're not a quarterback to coach a quarterback. Um, we had discussions and and you talk, but um, in unless as a quarterback, you're you're self motivated to do those things. Uh, nobody's going to talk you into something you don't want to do. How true is it that you once introduced yourself to the quarterback in the <laughs> huddle during an actual game? Actually, one of my favorite NFL stories, uh, we were playing the Steelers last game of the year. We were out of the playoffs. I don't even know if they were playing for anything, but um, we were down to our fourth string quarterback going into the game <laughs> as a starter. Uh, Thad Lewis was the starter, and we signed a guy off the street couple days before the game to be the backup because we had nobody left and in the game lo and behold Thad Lewis gets hurt and they bring this guy in that's only been there for a couple days to be the quarterback in the huddle and he gets into the huddle during a timeout and I thought it was a perfect time to introduce myself since I had never met him before so I just <laughs> reached out my hand and said I'm Joe Thomas. I'm your left tackle. Nice to meet you. And he said, hey, I'm Josh Johnson. Uh, it's great to be here. And then he proceeded, I think, get sacked on the next play. <laughs> <laughs> Explain the difficulty involved with so many quarterback changes as it pertains to your position. Well, it's really difficult as an offensive lineman to have a lot of different quarterbacks because our back is to the quarterback. So you never really know what he's doing. You can only hope based on the play call that you know what they're doing. And so when they're not doing what they're supposed to, whether it be because they don't know what they're supposed to do or they're ad-libbing, um, it makes your job tougher because now you're always blocking for a spot. And if you don't know where that spot is, how do you block for that spot? Unless you either know where it's going to be or you're looking at it. And you're not looking at it because my back's to him. So it, it adds a definite level of, of difficulty. Plus, a uh, quality quarterback raises the level of play of everybody by how they get rid of the ball with their timing, how they co uh, coordinate the offense, um, the communication between the quarterback and all the different facets on an offense. So when you don't have that consistent quality play, it makes everybody's job tougher.